Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is an alphabet based puzzle. It says that a school teacher called each child and asked him or her to write the letter which uh, his her name begins on the board. The first child writes the first letter of his name anywhere on a board which was initially blank. From the second child onwards, they have to follow the below rules. So we have to see the rules. If the first letter of the child's name comes before the letter written by the first child then the child has to write the first letter of his name on the left. So if it is before it is written on the left of the letter and otherwise the child has to write the first letter to the right uh, of the letter that was that the first child wrote. So let us say that uh, let's say the first child is Pranav. So he will write his name as uh, his uh, he will write the letter as P. Okay. Let us say the next person who comes is Vidhi. Okay. Her first letter is V and V comes after P. So will be written this side. Okay. And let us say the next person is Deep. So which is D and uh, it is it has to be written to the left side of the letters that are mentioned here. Okay, so this way uh, the thing will go on. So if something comes after the first letter, that means that has to be written on the right side. And if it comes before, it will be written on the left side. All right. So this is the first condition. Now, second condition is any child except for the first child who writes a letter on the board always writes it either to the immediate left of the leftmost or, or to the immediate right of the rightmost. So immediate left of the leftmost and immediate right of the to the rightmost letter on the board. Okay. Based on the above rule. All right. So uh, let's uh, we have understood this rule. Let us try to solve the questions. And each question is different. Uh, we will have to find the first letter and so on find out the sequence that is given to us. The first question says if after 10 children wrote a letter on the board, the letters from left to right spelled this, which of the following can be the name of the child that wrote the first letter on the board. So basically we have to find the first letter. Okay, obviously we will find the names. Let us try to understand using this given sequence. We can use options also to answer the question, but let us first try to understand this question well so that uh, we will be able to answer. Now, if suppose D is the first child, although that is not given in the options, but uh, let's see this. If D is the first child, what will happen? If D is the first child, so anything which comes less than D should be written on the left side. Now, if we say B, comes after before D. So B should have been written on the left side, which is not possible. So D is not the first child. Now, if we see B, so anything after B should be written on the right hand side, but B, D is written here. So B is not possible. Okay. Let's now see for M. So M, if we see that uh, anything before M should be written this side. So these two follow the sequence. Anything after M should be written this side. But J comes before M. So this is also incorrect. Let us now proceed to J. Now J, M comes after J. So M should have been written on the right hand side, but it is written left side. So J is also not possible. So we can knock out these two options. Okay. Now let us look at N. So if we see on the left hand side, all these people, all these letters are uh, they come before N in the alphabet and all these letters come after N in the alphabet. So that means N would be the first child. Now if you see uh, the other option that is P. Okay. So if P is written here, we cannot have R this side because R comes after P and should have been written on the right hand side. So that means the answer is uh, Niharika. So we could have used options also to answer the question. But it was important to understand the concept, how the letters would be written on the board. Let us move on to the next question. If after seven children wrote on the board, the letters from left to right spelled bailout, which of the following cannot be the first letter of the name of the second child? Cannot be the first letter of second child. Okay. All right. So that means three of them are possible. So this means multiple uh, first letters are possible in this. 
वेल लेट्स बिगिन विथ द लेट्स फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट द फर्स्ट लेटर नाउ बी ए कैन नॉट बी रिटर्न दिस साइड सो नॉट पॉसिबल ए बी कैन नॉट बी रिटर्न दिस साइड सो ए इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल I A B written this side, L O U T written this side. So I can be the first letter. L L if we see I A B correct, O U T correct. So L is also correct. O we can have all these letters on the left side, U and T on the right side, correct. So these are possible first letters. Next is U. So if U is there, T has to be written this side because T comes before U. So it has to be this side. So U is not possible. T, if T is here, U should have been this side. So this is not possible. So we have three possible first letters I, L, or O. Now our task is to find the second child, right? Which of the following cannot be the second child? Okay. So let us look by options A. so if i is written first if i is the first then a can be the second so this is possible b now b is not possible as the second one because if we have any of these three letters as the first one b cannot be the second right uh, i ke after a, I, a will come after i uh, we cannot have b here so that is our answer o yes it is quite much possible let us say l is the first letter o will be the second u is also possible let us say o is the first letter u will be the u can be the second letter so all others are possible except b next question if after eight children wrote on the board the letters spelt monarchy which of the following was the fourth letter okay and uh, we also have an option cannot be determined so let us see that if we can determine the fourth letter so let's start with m well we will have to find the first letter in each of these cases okay then only we can find the remaining ones so if we start with m we see that a is written on this side which is not possible if we start with o m is written uh, is this side fine a is written this side right so o cannot be the first one because a cannot be written on the right hand side then similarly for n we can reject a is written on this side all right so let us see that a if a is written anything cannot be written on the left side of f a because a is the first letter so all have to be after a let's see r if we have r we cannot have c this side because c comes before r so c should have been this side so r is not possible c we see m n all these are uh all these come before c so not possible h if we see h r is written here n is written here m is written here so h also cannot be the first one so this means y is the first letter okay so first letter is y now it is easy because all these things will be on the left side of y so we know that this is the first one h will be the second c third and r will be the fourth letter that will be written on the board well let's go to the next question it says after six children wrote on the board the first third and fifth letters from the left are r u and n respectively so first letter is r second third letter is u fifth letter is n and we have six children who have written on the board now the question is if the first letter if the first letter of the names of all the children were distinct how many possibilities exist for the first letter of the name of the first child so we have to find the first child again and we have to find how many possible letters are there okay now let us say that the first person is this one okay uh, okay so let us see that if r can be the first person if r is the first person n cannot be written this side so r cannot be the first person if u is the first person n cannot be written this side so n uh, u is also not the first person if n is the first person u cannot be written on this side so these three are definitely not the first persons okay let us say that the first person is this so this person's name first letter should be after r and before u then only we can have r on the left side and u on the right side all right so if you have taken considered s or t as the first letter now if you see this n is written on this side 
which is not possible because n has to come to the left of s or t so this also suggests that this cannot be the first letter now let's see the first letter here now we have to think of a letter which is less than u so uh, you can say that t s anything okay because uh, u is on the uh, u is on the uh, left side of it okay uh, no sorry sorry we cannot have anything uh, less than u we have to have more than u because u is on the left side so it should be greater than u like v w x that way okay but if we have anything greater than u n is on this side if you have anything greater than u n is on the side which is again not possible so this is like the previous one wherein we will get the first letter at this position now let us think of the letter which could come here at this position now we are uh, given that we have to find that how many possibilities exist for the first letter okay now uh, this first letter should be uh, like if it is written on this side it should be greater than n because if it was less than n it would be written on left side okay so this had to be greater than n uh, this has to be greater than u also this has to be greater than r also so the possibilities that we can have here is v w x y and z i did it should ask that how many maximum possibilities okay so we can have five possible letters v to z v w x y z because u is written on this side so it has to be greater than u so we have five possibilities for this letter so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions